Hey there, it's Natural Smarty. I'm hiking through a beech maple forest in search of a tulip tree. So they're gonna grow in moist, deep, rich soils. This is a towering giant of the eastern hardwood forest. It's the tallest of them all. So this could be tricky. I'm peeking high into the canopy to see if any of those leaves are sprouting. Again, this is tulip tree, Liriodendron tulipifera. It is not a poplar, despite its highly valued commercial name for the lumber, which is yellow poplar. In fact, it's in the magnolia family. And there is not another tree like it in the eastern forests, actually on the soils of North America. You're not gonna find another tree with leaves like this. Taking a look at the bark, as this tree grows, the ridges are gonna grow outward from the tree, thereby making these depths between the ridges deeper and deeper. Some say, look for the snow in the valleys when looking at a tulip tree. As we gaze up this very straight tree trunk, these trees can grow up to 90, 100 feet. Looking way at the top, see what those leaves look like? Just kidding, we're gonna need to find a younger one. Well, I found the opposite of what I was looking for. A giant that has been anchored here for well over 100 years, without a doubt. These trees grow fast. They have a high growth rate when they're young, say 25 inches a year, and then that slows as they age. It's typical that they would have a really long trunk before any branching, longer than this. So I, I would almost guess that this tree grew here alone because it did not it did not have to race to the top of the canopy to get sunlight when it was here. And clearly it was here before its neighbors. I'm looking for a young tulip tree now, a sapling, so you can get a close look at the unusually shaped leaves. The flowers on a tulip tree have six inch and a half long yellow to green petals with touches of orange. You're not gonna see the, the flowers too often because they're way high up in the canopy. So unless a, a rain or windstorm pulls them down on twigs, you might not get a close look at those. The seeds are winged and clumped together, about two and a half inch long, clumped together in the shape of a cone. This younger specimen gives us a good look at the branching pattern. Tulip trees grown in alternate branching pattern. So sends off a branch, grows, sends off another branch. They are not opposite of each other. And then this tree sprouts the most unusual of leaves. Four lobes that do not meet at a point at the center. So this leaf does not end in a point up on top. I cannot think of another leaf that does that. Well, that proved challenging in this beech maple forest. The giants outnumber the sapling tulip trees. But we did get a good look at that leaf. Where you think there would be a fifth lobe at the top and in the center, it's absent. So the leaf is notched inward, it dips inward. That's your diagnostic field trait. These really are big trees. The oldest I could find on record is about 400 years. It's nicknamed the Queen's Giant in New York City. Last it was measured at 139 feet tall. Thanks for coming along to learn how to identify tulip tree, Liriodendron tulipifera. Good luck finding one on your own.